So in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at adding links to Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets. Now, you adding a link to Google Forms is a little bit different. You don't just insert the link. You need to copy and paste the URL. Google Forms does not support just taking a link and adding it and being able to um, link it with text so that you don't have this great big stretched out URL all over the place. Um, so we'll take a look at that in just a moment. But let's start with Google Docs. Okay, I'm going to go back to my second quarter. And let's get rid of that uh, comment. We don't need that now. So I'm going to go back to the next generation science standards. And I want to add a link. Now, I can either know the URL that I want, and I can paste it in here, or if I know that I want to add a URL, but I don't know exactly what it is, I'm going to get a couple of suggestions here, or I can use my Explore tool to find a little bit more that I want. But this first one is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to click on that and apply. And now I have a hyperlink. You know it's a hyperlink because the color of the text changed. It's changed and usually it's blue and it's underlined. And then when you put your mouse, let's see if I can get it to do that, and you click here, there is the link that you're going to go to that it's going to open up in another window. So that's adding a link to a Google Doc. Let's take a look at adding a link to um, Google Slides. And again, I want to, um, I think I'm going to highlight this one, 30 Wonderful. And I'm going to, again, I can go to Insert or I can use the icon here. And I actually want the directions for the game. So when I highlight 30 Wonderful, here's a site that's going to take me to this is how you can play the game 30 Wonderful and all of the information that someone may need if they're not familiar with the game. Again, you can also use the Explore tool, but using the icon or using the Insert link, it's also going to give you a couple of suggestions. So I'm going to put that in there and apply. And again, notice the color changes. And it's underlined. And when I click on that, there's the link that I can go to that, again, will take me to another page. So now let's look at Google Slides. I'm sorry, Google Sheets. I knew I was going to say that wrong. And uh, maybe I want information on air resistance. So I'm going to click on air resistance. Again, you highlight the information that you want to link for. I can insert link, and again, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to give me some examples of air resistance. I can link to sheets in this spreadsheet, or I can select a range that I want to link it to. I want to link just to this cell here. So I'm going to click on this and apply, and it highlights all the words in here, but then it will take me to, and you notice a little pop-out window. It'll take you to a separate or another page that will give you information. So you can add links within a Google Doc, Google Slide, or a Google Sheets that will give extra information for students. So now let's take a look at a Google Form. Let's see if I have one here. Uh, let me just do a search here for forms. Hmm. So let's do it this way. I'm going to open up this goals for first quarter. And I want to How to set goals. So what are three types of goals? Okay. 
And in here, use this link for more information. And now I have the link here. This, you're not going to see it change to a hyperlink in here because you're in the edit side. But if I go to preview, there's your link that you can click on that and it will take you to the information that you need. So again, that's how you would include a link in a Google form. It's a little different. You need the link ahead of time and just paste it in. And then when you share this um, or when you put it in present mode for people who are going to be using it, there is the hyperlink.